It is my great honor and privilege tonight to introduce a fellow ASSIST alum who also recently returned to the United States, Ambassador Christoph Huysgen, Germany's permanent representative to the United Nations, and of course his wife, Ina, also a career diplomat and also an ASSIST alum, as I learned tonight. Originally from Neuss in the Rhineland of Germany, Christoph spent his junior year at Western Reserve Academy in Hudson, Ohio. It's about 30 miles from Cleveland. As is expected for a good German, he played on the varsity soccer team, <laughs> but he also played basketball in the winter, and I understand you ran track and field in the spring. Among Christoph's favorite memories from his year with assist are concerts at the Cleveland Orchestra, one of the big five historic orchestras in this country. Western Reserve Academy, of course, has a public forum debate club and a model UN club, and they are beyond proud, Christoph, to know that one of their own Western Reserve pioneers has made it to the real UN. <laughs> After returning to Germany to finish high school, as all of us assist scholars have to, Christoph studied economics in Switzerland and St. Gallen, but he did come back to the U.S. for part of his studies, namely to Georgia Southern University. He joined the diplomatic corps of what was then West Germany in 1980. His first posting was, you guessed it, in the U.S., where he served at the Consulate General in Chicago as a press and economics affairs officer. In subsequent postings in Paris, Brussels, and at the German Foreign Ministry, Christoph also became an expert in Franco-German relations, in European affairs, and in foreign and security policy. In 2005, German Chancellor Angela Merkel made Christoph her chief foreign policy advisor. He held that position, officially it's called Undersecretary for Foreign and Security Policy in the German Chancellery for 12 years, the longest time I understand anyone's held that role before. In his time at the Chancellor Christoph advised Chancellor Merkel on the most complex foreign policy issues facing Germany and the Western world, yet along with those daunting challenges, I understood he took time to invite foreign ambassadors to the Schützenfest, a traditional German festival with a parade, parade with live music and lots of beer in his hometown of Neuss. Needless to say, he made sure to include some American friends, including former U.S. ambassadors to Germany, Phil Murphy and John Emerson. Last year, Christoph returned to the U.S. once again. He was appointed, did I say U.S.? Yes. He was appointed Germany's permanent representative to the United Nations in New York. In that capacity, he helped Germany get a seat on the U.N. Security Council, which it will assume starting next year. This seed will, of course, make Christoph's work even more relevant and interesting in the next two years, and we will look forward to following his adventures and achievements there. But for now, we look forward to hearing from the man himself, Ambassador Christoph Hoiskin. Please come.